Hello friends, how are you doing? You're welcome to the channel. I am your math server. Please do well to subscribe to the channel, please. Today we are moving on to indices. Indices. How do we solve indices? It's very simple. As you can see it on the board. It's very simple. By the time we want to solve your indices, we need to understand prime numbers first. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers are the numbers that can be divided by one and itself. It has two factors. Examples of our prime numbers are we have two, three, five, seven, eleven, and so on. Those are prime numbers that can be divided by one and itself. Now that's what we are now going to make use of in this, in this indices. We have four, we have two. Out of these prime numbers, if I may ask you, which of them can we use as a base? It's not going to be two because two. You have two in four and two in eight. Now, I want you to understand something. If by the time you have two raised power of zero, it means one. Two raised power of one is two. Two raised power of two is four. Two raised power of three is eight. Two raised power of four is sixteen, and so on. If it were to be three, three raised power of zero is also one. Three raised power of one is three. Three raised power of two is nine. 3 raised power of 3 is 27, 3 raised power of 4 is 81, and so on. It means, as you can see, that 2 in 2 places 2 times 2, 4. 2 in 3 places 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. Let's now solve it here. As you can see, our 4 here. Let's come to our 4. That is 2 raised power of 2. Just write it. 2 raised power of 2. You are bringing it down. You are breaking them into brackets. You have 2x minus 3. Don't forget, 2 raised power of 2 represents the 4. If, to, if it were to be 8, our 8 is 2 raised power of 3. Write 2 raised power of 3 into bracket x minus 2. Good. We now have the same base, 2 and 2. 2 cancel 2. So we now have 2 into bracket 2x minus 3 equals 3 into bracket x minus 2. As you can see, we have removed the base. Let's now open our bracket 1, 2, 1, 2. Use this to multiply this and the second one. 2 times 2, that is 4x minus 2 times 3, that is 6. You go 3 times x, 3x minus 3 times 2, that is 6. So you have 4x, because it's a like times, minus 3x equal to minus 6. The one that you have here, bring minus 6 here, it's going to be plus 6. You are collecting like times, but then this one comes here, it's going to be, the sign will change. So 4x minus 3x, that is x, equal to minus 6 plus 6, that's 0. It's as simple as that, very simple. Just know the bits you are going to use. Likewise this, you can see 27, 81. 1 and 9. By the time you check through these prime numbers, the one that can cause through is 3. You can, 3 can go in 9, 81. So let's now come to what you've written here. For 27, that's 3 raised power of 3. You just write 3 raised power of 3, that's for 27, is bracket x plus 3 over for 81. 3 raised power of 4, that's for our 81, into bracket 3x minus 2. Equal to 41, as you can see, 3 raised power of 0 over 49. Our 9 is 3 raised power of 2 into brackets 2x plus 1. Now, by the time now get it, as you can see, we have the same base or true, which is 3. The next thing I'm going to do, because you have a denominator, you now bring the denominator up. You bring it up. And the rule there is that as this one is coming up, you must put negative, that is minus in front of it. As it's coming up, you put it in front of it. Let's solve it together. Up here, we already have 3 raised to the power of 3x plus 3. This one is now coming up. You just put minus 4, 3x minus 2. We don't need this 3 down here again. Now, equal to, let's come to the second one. 3 raised to the power of 0 minus, because this one will also come up, 2 into brackets 2x plus 1. 3 cancel 3. So let's write the remainder. 3 into brackets x plus 3 minus 4 into bracket 3x minus 2 equal to 0 minus 2 2x plus 1. Let's open our bracket as you can see. Just open it. 3x plus 9 minus 12x plus 8 minus 4 times this equal to 0 minus 4x minus 2. We open our bracket. Then let's now collect our like times. We have 3x minus 12x. Let's bring this one here. Plus 4x equal to 0 minus 2. Bring your plus 9. That's minus 9. Plus 8. Bring it here. That's minus 8. 
3 minus 12, that is minus 9 minus 9, plus 4, that is minus 5x equal to 0 minus 9 minus 2 minus 9 minus 16, that is minus 8, that is minus 18. Now, the Bible side by the question say minus 5, 5 minus 5. So, therefore, your x equal to minus 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 3 whole number 3 over 5. It's as simple as that. Don't forget, just check the base you're going to use it. And don't forget the principle. If you have your denominator, bring it up. The negative will be in front of it by the time you have negative. Just like this one. By the time this one comes up, you put negative in front of it. It's as simple as this. It's very simple. Please, this is your game task, your classwork. Please try and solve it. And please submit your answer in the comment section. Just try it, attempt it, put it in the comment section. And please, subscribe thank you for watching thank you for your support take care of yourself bye